Arthur Blank, the billionaire owner of the Atlanta Falcons, is known for his commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion DI, in the United States. At a National Football League owners meeting, Blank stressed that DI efforts must be a significant priority across the country. He stated that the notion of pluralism and acceptance of everyone based on who they are, what they are and what they can do should be the highest priority for the nation. Blank is an active member of the NFL's DEI committee and co-founder of the Home Depot. While his views on the importance of the DEI are well known, it is also well known that Blank is a prolific Democratic donor. During the 2022 election cycle, he donated $800,000 to the Democratic Grassroots Victory Fund, a joint fundraising venture comprised of the Democratic National Committee, all 50 state Democratic parties, and the District of Columbia Democratic Committee. During the 2020 election cycle, he donated $2 million to the Senate Majority PAC, a super PAC aligned with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. He also contributed $300,000 to President Biden's joint fundraising committee and made donations to several state Democratic committees in Nevada, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania and other areas. In addition to his political donations, Blank is also an active philanthropist. In 2021, he contributed $17 million to a civil rights museum in Atlanta and called for addressing the underlying issues that cause systemic racism following the 2020 George Floyd riots in Minnesota. The NFL's DI report released last week highlighted the need for evolution in the hiring process for team leaders, as well as the criteria for evaluating many hiring managers. The report emphasized that it is imperative to educate, enlighten, encourage and empower team owners and other influencers to change their personal perspectives, perceptions, preferences, priorities and processes. Blank is an ardent advocate of diversity, equity and inclusion, and his actions and donations demonstrate his commitment to these values. He continues to push for more robust DI efforts in the United States and encourages other influential people to do the same.